Hi guys, Gretchen here with Namaste and Play. So I literally just recorded this entire video and I liked it and I deleted it. Oops. So welcome to your Bach Remedies, part two of seven. This category is uncertainty. The flowers of uncertainty are going to be Serato, Gentian, Gorse, Hornbeam, Scolaranthus, and Wild Oak. Five of those six flowers are going to be prepared using the sun method. The sun method is where you leave the flowers and all the plant matter in the spring water, drinkable spring water, for three hours. Then you strain it, two drops of that into a 30 milliliter bottle with half spring water, drinkable spring water, and half brandy to keep all the icky stuff out. No vodka, gin, no moonshine, none of the really hardcore stuff. You want brandy for those beautiful, beautiful, nice nice smooth energetic vibes um the only one we're going to do the boiling method with will be hornbeam we do have out of the five sun method ones we have three are out of the original 12 healers and two out of the original helpers shall we get started again <laughs> the first up is going to be serato so serato is one of the original 12 healers Serato is for your friends who are very easily swayed. You tell them what to do and they do it. You tell them this is good for them and they say, okay, cool. They try this. Uh, if they're sick, they'll try this if it's popular and then they'll try that if it's popular and they'll try that if it's popular and then they'll try that if it's popular. Um, your opinion means a lot to them. They want to please you. Yeah. It's, it's part of the uncertainty category. So Serato is for distrust of self and self and, and their intuition. Um, they don't even want to make their own decisions. They often will go back and forth and be like, oh, I want to do this. Oh, now I want to do this. Oh, now I want to do this. Oh, now I want to do this. Well, so-and-so said I would get at that, so I'm going to do that instead. They really have almost no confidence in themselves, and because they don't trust their own good judgment, and they don't have their own wishes and desires, and they do what other people advise them to do, um, which is not always good, that rubs them up heavy personality because why because they just let everybody else build their personality by telling them what to do that's why all right habitat serato grows in warm warm sunny conditions and will grow best in a sheltered position it grows in a and ornamental and gardens is great ornamentals the next up is gentian gentian is for those who are easily discouraged yeah they may be progressing with illness or daily affairs. They may be almost at the top of their mountain where they get like this little pebble. They trip on it. Oh, I can't do it. Oh no, I just can't do it. So, you know that's not true. Um, it's for people who are faltering or despondent. They look on the darker side and they're pessimistic. When they're sick, they come to a standstill. They think they come to a standstill. They, they may be progressing. They may be, be progressing. Oh, sorry. Um, they may be progressing really well, but they're just like, mm, not doing well, not doing good at all. So, you know, when you have that negative state of mind and you say negative things about your body and to your body, you're not going to heal as quickly as you should because we ourselves are 70% water. Water holds memory. We're the first listeners of our own words. Our body, 70% of our body is listening and holding on to that and thinking that. So, is there, um, they feel like difficulties are too big for them to overcome and they lose heart temporarily. In this state, they only want a little encouragement, which is what this will do. So, Jinchen grows predominantly on lime soils, dry hilly pastures where grass is short. It does not like farm chemicals. So, like most of the herbs, it is retreating. It is becoming more and more rare. <laughs> I don't know what the problem with me talking today, today uh, speaking today is, guys. Gorse is for great hopelessness. So, Gorse is one of the seven helpers. Uh, Serato and Gentian were two of the healers. The other healer is Scleranthus, and the other helper is going to be Wild Oat. So, Gorse is for great hopelessness. This one is the one where they just gave up. They give up on everything. Nothing else can be done for them. They are completely 100% hopeless. Um, they might try a, uh, another cure for their spouse. They might try another cure for their kids, but they're like, whatever, dude, I'm done. Um, so that is what 
the gorse really helps with is getting over that feeling of hopelessness. You, there might be physical tells for people who really suffer from this. They have sallow, dark complexion. They'll have like dark lines under their eyes. They look like they need to go sit in the sun and soak up some, soak up some rays. Um, gorse can be found on most soils, but it will. It does not like chalk and lime. Um, it does like acid moorlands and dry sandy common lands. It does uh, burst open. The seeds burst open, and then it spreads. It does spread, but it spreads slowly, so you can kind of control it. Um, yeah, but they it will be it will also be killed off by severe frost. So keep that in mind, depending on the area that you're growing in. If you're the area that you live in, if you're looking to grow, hornbeam up next. Hornbeam is the one that is out of uh, Edward Buck's second set of second nineteen healers. So this one is going to be done the boiling method. This one you'll boil for 30 minutes, strain all the plant, plant matter, still the two drops, and the half brandy, half um, spring water that you can drink. So this is for people who do not feel like they have sufficient strength to carry the burdens of the world that have been placed upon them. They don't feel like they can even get through their daily lives a lot of the times. So they just get up and they feel weighted. They feel almost hopeless, but not quite. They just feel weighted. Like... Even brushing their teeth is a chore to them. A lot of times they will get these functions done because they're programmed to do so. They'll get up and they'll go through their routine. Yeah, yay, go me. But they feel weighted. These people are the ones that are waiting for or getting ready to have that straw that breaks the camel's back. Um, so hornbeam really helps with, if you know anybody who's getting ready for that, the straw that breaks the camel's back. They've... Um, lost energy, lost interest, they're weary, and ability to cope with mundane affairs, uh, illness, who feel unable to return to work even though they're perfectly fit. Like, they think they're sick, but they're not. So maybe a little hypochondria going on there. Grows great in woods and hedges, and um, that's where you should look for it. So, <laughs> woods and hedges. Does not like a lot of frost, I don't believe. I'm not one hundo on that one, but I'm pretty sure. So Scleranthus is number five. This is going to be one of the healers, one of the 12 original healers. This is for people who have a hard time deciding between two things. Not just two things to eat or two movies, like literally two things. Like maybe they are trying to decide on two outfits, two people to ask out, to anything. They go from hobby to hobby to hobby. They like this hobby. They like that hobby. They like everything. Um, they plunge into life and will disappear. Uh, fear of plunging into life will disappear. Experience is gained. will guide our mind to a better judgment. That is what Scleranthus will do for uh, these people. Their moods change quickly. You know, they could start off like super cheery when they first meet up with you. And then by the like the end, they're like super despondent. Their conversation may bounce from subject to subject. Don't mix those people up with ADD people. ADD people, they need Bacopa Maneri. They don't, they don't need Scleranthus. Um, Scleranthus grows on sandy, sandy soil. Does not like calcareous soil. Likes a well-drained and dry conditions. All right, then the next one is going to be wild oat. Wild oat is for some people, for those people who have ambition to do something of prominence in life. This is one of Box Original Seven Helpers. So they want to experience everything life has to offer. And by experiencing everything life has to offer, maybe they experience too much life has to offer, or maybe they learn too much. They're like, okay, so I'm going to be a yoga teacher. Okay, I'm going to be a yoga teacher and a Reiki. Okay, I'm going to be a yoga teacher and a Reiki. And I'm going to do sound therapy. I'm going to be a yoga teacher. I'm going to be a Reiki. I'm going to do sound therapy. I'm going to be an herbalist. I'm going to be a yoga teacher. I'm going to be a Reiki. I'm going to be an herbalist. I'm going to be a sound teacher. I'm going to teach Qigong. I'm going to do, 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 You see where I'm going with this, right? So they get all of the shit going, right? They're not living their full life, are they? They're not living their best life because they're too busy, like, trying to be the best at everything. Um, kind of like the Roomba thought where they bounce off of things. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
um, but they're just doing so much that they're spread very thin. Um, and then they find because they're spread so thin, but because they excel at everything, that they have, they feel they have no colony. So what wild oat does is helps them really just come into themselves, into that calm uh, mind of thought, train of thought, and allows them to shake things out, figure out which one makes them go the most. And then the other ones, let the other ones play supporting roles. Um, the other ones can play supporting roles. Like you can have a main dude and be like, yeah. And then I use this, you know, you may even come up with a hybrid version of whatever the hell your, uh, true vibe thing is, right? Like your true vibe is, um, healer or herbalist. And you're like really vibe with other things like say sound baths. So herbalists and sound baths go really well together, especially with things like Bach remedies, because Bach remedy is already a vibrational healing method, right? So what if you took your Bach remedy, which is already a vibrational healer, right? Because you're using the flower vibration. What if you took that and you set that near one of your sound bowls in water with quartz crystals around it. So we've got all this amplification with the water and the quartz crystals. And then you have the sound bowl and you're playing that near it. And say with like these uncertainty ones, you're playing the sacral and the solar plexus chakra bowls really near it. And that heart chakra bowl, that really those center chakras, um, those center and lower, not the, not, not the root chakra so much, um, but the, the sacral and the solar, which is where a lot of that trauma is stored anyway. Playing those bowls near that thing of water with the already vibrational thing in. Can you imagine how strong you could actually make your mother teachers doing that? So, I mean, you know, this will allow you to come up with your own hybrid version of who you think you should be because it allows you to shake things out and it allows the other things to become their supporting things. And then it allows them to imbue to you the ideas that come to you naturally that flow into your entire bodies, right? Um, and then that stuff will come out and everything you do will make you go, and then you'll be on your true path. Yeah. So Wild Oats are really nice little one there. It is one of the original seven helpers. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I do have five more in this series. The last in the series, we will have the recipe for the rescue remedy. Um, I do a lot of Reiki videos. The box series is not the next up. I do have some Reiki videos and a sound bath in between for my in real life trauma groups and that meet um, weekly. So if you do like all of this jam, all of this stuff, all this natural healing, um, namaste and play with me and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, namaste and satnam.